Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video here in Revenge Assault. And so guys, do you notice the castle right now? Do you see it? Last time you saw me, I was a level 25 castle, struggling to get enough wood for level 26. Now I got that level 26 castle, and I still have a lot of woods in the farm, thanks to Queen Z. Shout out Zara. So guys, I want to do a video, give you a little update on what's going on here in this kingdom. It's absolute mayhem. Kingdom 71, we've already got a level 30 castle. Let me go ahead and show you castle rankings. Look at this. We're ranked 11th, but we should be able to jump up to 8th place here soon. So, you've got Lord Redblood who finished level 30 castle. Nightcaller from BSQ. I mean, this dude's getting pushed and stuff by his members. He's up to 29. You got Mikey, XLOK member, level 29. Uh, you got Ripcord um, up at level 28. Uh... CF, he's like a Iranian player on the same side as Lord Red Blood and Nightcaller. Um, Evil, he's cool. He, I talked to him and stuff. He's chill. You got Godfather and then Poseidon, another uh, ex LOK member. Godfather is uh, one of the Iranians too, I believe. Then you got King Hulk, LOK member. He's also an LOK member in Rise of the Kings, which is the sister game of Revenge of Sultan. So, and then you've got us right there, and then so on and so forth. Go to Alliance rankings. I haven't shown you guys that in a while. You can see the alliance rankings right there now. I've been kicking a lot of people. We've been getting rid of, getting rid of potential spies. It's very hard to recruit in this kingdom because you basically have us and TBH, the two English alliances. Then the rest are Turkish and Iranian. So, you know, if I want to recruit someone that is Turkish or Iranian, it's not that I'm being, like, uh, judgmental or anything. There's just a chance and, you know, a likelihood that they could be a spy for the other team. So, I got to be very careful, and the team has to be very careful for that. But, let's go ahead and show you guys. So, we got the level 26 castle. Now, you guys know I've been going super, super slow on my um, other troop buildings. What I've been doing is just upgrading them to 22 as I've been upgrading to level 26. So, what I'm going to do, guys, and I have tons and tons. Like, um, I'm going to be training a lot of T9. I'm going to go ahead and get my infantry up to T9 and train a bunch of them. My cavalry up to T9 and train a bunch of them. And once I get them cavalry to T9, I'm going to get you know the 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 t9 cavalry if you saw the last video let me go ahead and show you them if you click on them right here let me show you right there 20 15 percent attack damage during tile ambush battles so you know i want to win the kill event guys so to win the kill event you have to hit a lot of tiles so i'm going to be getting I'm going to be getting my T9 cavalry up by the kill event. Right now, it's gather resources. So, when the when the build event comes, I'm going to speed up like crazy. I know Zara's got a ton of wood ready. And I've you can already see that. You can see that right there. Look at all the silver. Look at all the iron. Tons and tons of this stuff. So, you know, I'll, I'll be going for days and, um, you know, weeks on that. And then as far as, like, troop training, I mean... We've got, we've got tons of speed ups to speed stuff up. Most of the people that you see out there, they're already, you know, maxed out. They, they use everything up right when they get it. You know, I like to save it. I like to, <clears throat> I like to kind of lay low. And then one day, like right before a throne war, right before a kingdom conquest, just come out of nowhere and they'll see me jump like two, three million power and out there just slaughtering people. So that's the way I like to do it. But yeah, guys, what I want to know, what guys do you want to see? What kind of strategy videos do you want to see? Or you just want to see me go around smacking people? You know, there's a lot of people that have deserved a beating in this kingdom. They're, I mean, it's just the, the truth of the matter. Let's go ahead and take take a look down here at the throne. Let me go ahead and just take a look and see what, see what it's working with. 10 days guys we've got 10 days until the first throne war and i doubt i'll be able to live stream it but i will definitely record it i might be able to stream it if i stream it i'll do like a 10 minute delay so that way you know no one can tell exactly what we're doing and when but you guys will still get to see it pretty much live so yeah that'll be pretty awesome can't wait for that that's in 10 days um we have no official allies in this kingdom guys we've just been kind of going with the flow uh, you know, I've been talking to people and stuff and I think I kind of have peeped out You know who the shady people are and who you know the more loyal loyal cool people are so I've kind of I kind of peeped that out and been feeling things out before I like, you know, make any decisions because like I said um, You know, I could just have went and allied the whole kingdom and had an easy throne war and destroyed all the competition But I'll let the kingdom develop and, and that way we have a long you know fun kingdom to, to fight with just like an ROK so 
yeah guys I had to show you this level 26 castle I'll be doing a war video tomorrow I'm gonna be going around smacking people I'm gonna be getting all these buildings to 26 I'll have all troop halls except for the siege to level 26 here this week like um, in the next couple of videos you'll see all these buildings 26 and then you will see um, the walls I'm gonna start getting the walls upgrading they're not that expensive for the walls how much was it again 60 60 million so I could probably start the walls now even yeah, I could start the walls tonight, which I'll probably do, and then just upgrade these with my second builder, because I'm going to be speeding them up anyway, and I like to keep a builder, the builders always working, like when I'm asleep, I like them both to be working, so that's what I've been up to, guys, thank you so much for all the support and everything, and for those of you playing the game, I know you're having a lot of fun and everything, I, I see all the comments and get all the messages in the game, so thank you guys so much for the support, I'll see you in the next one, Tumor Richard Works, smash that thumbs up button, on. peace.